What is going on you guys? Welcome to today's video. So I'm not quite sure exactly what this video will be about, but as you guys know, in about a month and a half, we are leaving Germany, moving back to the States. We've been here for three years now. Um, I mean, this has been home for the past three years and I can't believe it's already coming on that fast. Our official last day here is May 26th, which is crazy, um, but time flies. So May 26th, last official day in Germany, which is wild. A few other dates, April 19th of this month, all of our household goods, or at least 95% of them, are being packed up and shipped out of here. Uh, Monday of next week, the Black Jetta variant, I know we just lowered it, got the wheels on it, it's looking great, but uh, that car is leaving Monday of next week. So this week, get that car cleaned inside and out, empty everything out of it, back in the BBS RCs, raise the coilovers, and that's pretty much it, it's ready to go. That car's going with the military, so in about, I think the landing date, the car is leaving on Monday, we're getting dropped off at the place Monday, and I think it's June, 15th or 16th uh, in North Dakota, that car should land. So about two months, uh, that car should be in North Dakota, which is very, very cool. Like I said, we have a lot of uh, a lot of packing to do. Like I said, I'm not sure what this video is gonna be about exactly, but I wanna document the process. I mean, this has been home for the past three years, so to kind of clear out of here, it's gonna be wild, and we got a lot of stuff. But thankfully, our household goods can weigh up to 9,000 pounds, so hopefully everything we have here and all the engines I have and just it's a lot of stuff, but I think we'll be under 9,000 pounds. We passed 9,000 pounds with just like goods and parts. That's, that's a problem, but I think we'll be okay. So today I'm going to go downstairs. Actually, I'm going to do this probably tomorrow, but today I'm starting downstairs, clean off all my shelves, a bunch of the bumpers that are still here. Uh, Nick's taking the rest of stuff out of here to the UK. Um, but right now I go through and get all of my personal stuff packed up. Got some bins here. They get all the pictures off the wall. I mean, there's just, it's crazy how much stuff you kind of just accumulate over three years. And usually like what happens is you kind of just grow into your space. So since we had this house and the barn, we had all this space to just gather stuff, uh, the upstairs in the barn, the basement, uh, there's like four bedrooms in this house. You just kind of grow into your space. So things like this happen. And also my wife and I both love car parts. So when I'm ordering parts and she's ordering parts, this is, this is what happens. It just, it's what happens. So I said, I don't know what the video would be about exactly, but we're gonna start documenting the process as we uh, clear out of here. Like I said, it's been home for the past three years and uh, almost out of here. Over here, all the posters must come off the wall. Very easy to pack up. All of the lights, literally all of the lights, gotta get packed up. Gotta be careful with these because like these ones and a few others like new old stock. So gotta keep in good condition, pack them safely. But we have the boxes for a handful. Um, the clears and I think those came in that box. But handful of things. This might be kind of tricky to pack because it's like, a, you know, a whole fender, but again, shout out Matias for that. We'll pack it very safely and not do any damage to that. Uh, this part of the TV stand will go. Uh, my desk probably needs to stay. I have my laptop to edit on, so that whole desktop might go. I'll we'll have to see about that. Gotta keep the uh, good old avenue. Another piece is kind of awkward to pack, but we'll make it work. And then over here, the tables are already out of here getting refinished. And there's a bunch of parts over here. There's a supercharger down there. I have a full set of these alpha wheels. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with, but I've had them for like two years now. Bunch of steering wheels and there's just, there's a lot of stuff. There's, there's too many things. But let me take you downstairs to where there's a whole other mess of things down here, which has got much better since the last load that Nick took, but there's still a fair amount of stuff that is uh, down here. So this side over here, these are all of my seats. These are all of my seats, all of my sets. We got, oh, I love these seats, one of my favorites. But yeah, I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't even remember, honestly. What's this? Oh, these are all my, oh, the fabrics to the Sayat seats. But yeah, there's a bunch of, a bunch of the good old movie seats love that fabric but yeah i have a set of like leather variant seats back there all the backs um these hatches are leaving going with nick all of this is leaving no that one's mine that's the cabrio rear uh euro one that's mine but all the hatches behind it those are all leaving so that'll be out of here um that bumper is just probably trash honestly uh these are my personal ones this is just kind of been here that'll probably leave and then over here bunch of stuff over here all of these bumpers are leaving those are all going to the uk that'll be out of here this is like a brand new variant golf 3 variant bumper i have got from jordan so i'm gonna hang out of that these are going to another nick all of this is pretty much all my stuff let me get another light on here 
and see what we got. Ooh, also the uh, fancy little, a little light. There you are. My little wheel shrine going on. The rotor forms, new tires. Um, mine, 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 bumper. Probably rid of that sub. Bunch of just a full black interior swap that we put out of the Pink Floyd. All my mats, these wheels. I didn't show you guys this. I got this a while back. This is a US Jetta trunk. A little dented on the corner, so I'm dropped it. But this is a super cool, I want to say it's MS Design. Uh, spoiler, kind of similar to like Ottinger other talks, where it mounts on the side over here with the third brake light. So that's kind of cool to hang that for mine. Cause I want a GLI at some point, a US spec GLI uh, Mark IV, and I might use this on that. So we'll see about that. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of all of that packed up, all of this mess packed up, uh, that packed up. I might sell the seats out of my variant. I don't know. I'm going to keep these. This is a leather set of variant Mark IV door cards. Very good to have those. Um, but there's not too much. Like I said, this will all be cleaned off. That's all my personal, all this is my personal stuff. That section, this section, and uh, there's a lot of stuff. But I think it'll be okay. Shouldn't be too, too bad. Like I said, all of those bumpers, all the hatches over there are all leaving as well. Um, so I'll clean up a whole bunch of space. And the rest is mostly small stuff. I mean, the wheels aren't too hard to pack. I'll get some cardboard to go over the face and the barrel, wrap them up. Won't be a big deal. Same as I shipped those here. They made it here, no problem. So not worried about that. This will need some bubble wrap. I mean, this thing's like, it's like concrete. It's rock solid, but still don't want to destroy it in the move. Oh man, just a lot of stuff. This is why I saved. We have like hundreds of boxes in there. Um, so plenty of stuff to pack stuff in. But yeah, there's just like parts on parts. That's my new old stock Vento VR6 slip. I'll put that on something eventually, maybe. We'll see. But yeah, I've just collected so many things in the past few years. This is what happens. When you have space, you collect a bunch of stuff and working at a junkyard and being in Germany, you just end up with this. Or if you're like me to have a parts problem, this is this is what happens. But uh, let's uh, get packing. So far, we've got two bins packed so far. I don't want to pack them like slam full and have like stuff crushing things, but uh, they're pretty much full. I try to fill all the space as best I could. That way, when you get destroyed. So two are done. But I want to show this real fast. I don't know if I showed this before, but this is my Mark IV interior collection. I think I have one of every Mark IV design. So you have like just the outer wood piece here. This one's cool. This is like the gray brushed aluminum. So very cool. That one. Then we've got the blue. You can see a little texture there. This is the blue net optic on the tan. So I have that one. This is the normal one you see. The nice silver aluminum. So there's that one, which is pretty cool. This is your normal net optic, which is the gray. This one came out of a Passat. Super cool wood piece. So there's that one. We've got, this is just somebody wrapped it carbon fiber, but it's still cool to have. Then we got some more back here, another net optic. I have a right hand drive net optic somewhere, I think. That one was back here. Another, oh, this one. This is the right hand drive net optic one. So there's that one. Is that it? Oh, there's some more back here. And just your standard black ones. So there's those for all the door handle switches. And here we have all the other sides. So net optic set, wood set, gray, silver, uh, some wood pieces, the gray aluminum. This car was a two door car, so I only have two of that one. It's just this pair. So driver's side. And passenger but still really cool i like the uh dark gray aluminum that one's sweet and then up here we have all the cup holders and the trim surrounds for the ac and stuff so this one's cool this one matches the one it's all again blue silver all those all the cup holders and then up here is just oh the lower pieces this is out of the generation yeah generation we got blue net optic normal this one another little one so those are all of those ones. This got full, so I started another one over here. And this pile is kind of a mess. This is a AC lower glove box for Mark III. AC ones are the good ones to have because they fit with all the normal US cars, so it's cool to have. But this is another massive pile. This is a standard is black. You've got that wood one, one over there, blue, more carbon fiber, net optic. So I think I have every set they ever made for the Mark IV, possibly. This is a four motion wood one. Just a bunch of the personals that I collected over the years, none of net optic. As of right now, none of this is for sale. At some point, maybe, but I like to collect stuff. This is another wood one, all like the varnish is gone, but still an original 
wood shift knob. That I mean, the wood's not cracked. It just needs some new clear on it or some new like lacquer, but not in bad shape. It should look like that, but you can see all that it's gone. Lower ashtray cover, but lots of stuff. So yeah, we're getting uh, I made a small dent so far, just a little dent, but oh, there's lots to pack up. Also, there's a box. Did I bring it down here? I did. In this box over here, I kind of packed it full. Again. Let me pull some stuff out real fast. This is my emblems box. So take that out. Take this out. That out. These are all the emblems I've collected so far. So like this massive Passat one off of before I want to say. Then you got what Passat GLX, Vento GLX. There's a whole bunch of Polo. This is a US spec Jetta one. And then in here somewhere is my original one off Miley. Back when the car was brown. This one right here. This is the original one off of my Jetta. Which is kind of cool. So there's that one. This is a bunch. This is Jetta GLI Mark II. Super nice one. No broken tabs. Just got so many things over the years. It's wild. GLX badge. This is a US Mark III GTI badge. Very cool. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. But yeah. Uh, back to packing. Well, there she is. Now, there's a few, like, Votex shift. A few Mark III things at the very, very top. But I would say up until, like, here, everything in there is Mark IV interior bins. I would have never thought I'd have an entire bin full of just Mark IV stuff. But here we are. And this thing's hefty. Like, this thing's all of, I'd say, you know, close to 20 pounds, maybe. I mean, it's, uh, it's hefty. So it's currently Thursday morning right now. We've made some decent parts down here. I have, like, four or five boxes packed up so far. So it's looking thinner, but... So much of stuff, but today I'm going to the junkyard and I'm doing like, I've been in just like throw everything away mode and the wagon, holy crap, look at this. There's so, look how high it's piled. There's so much junk. Like I said, I just collect things. I like having spares. So I had just, I don't know, so many spare things that I didn't even need, but I had them. Hoses, clutches, tons of axles, brake rotors, just spare stuff just to have. Obviously, it's good to buy stuff new, but when you're in a pinch, I like to just have something right away if I need it that day, whatever it is. Um, so yeah, this is what happens. So there's a clutch there, clutch there, clutch down there, clutch over there. Four clutches, but that one over there, I think, was from Steve's VR6 Turbo. But there's just like, there's so much stuff. All of this stuff in the front here is from the 180, also we deleted. So throwing that away, just seven or eight axles, throwing all those away, rotors, piping. It's all going. So the garage is looking better. Like I said, I'm in just straight throw almost everything away mode. But it's looking cleaner. You can see there's some, some light over here. Got to clean all of that junk out of there. And then this back corner, looking more empty. Like I said, we have until the 19th. They're picking up like 95% of our stuff. And then one more pickup date, I want to say on the 6th of May for like our essential stuff that we need to have, like clothes and my computer, that kind of stuff. Um, for the most part, everything will be gone very very soon i might be trading my 18t here for a set of wheels would be cool or i might trade both of my 18s i have this 150 horsepower one here with a transmission and wiring harness that kind of stuff I'm missing a few pieces we use for that one um they also have another i want to say i don't remember the engine code but it's a 180 horsepower one out of an anniversary gti uh no transmission but full wiring harness nothing pulled off of it so i might trade both of those engines for one set of wheels very very cool wheels only about 45 minutes away but uh getting these out of here i, I want to keep them but we only have so much weight we can have shipping back to the States. So if I can offload two engines for one set of wheels, that uh, that'd be good. So we'll see about that. I'm talking to the guy right now. So we'll see if he wants to trade for an engine or two, possibly. I may just get both up. We'll see. I mean, I want to keep them, but it's just all got to go. There's just, there's so much stuff. It's crazy how much stuff you can collect in three years. Like I said, when you have the space to do it, you just fill the space you have and this is what happens. I got wheels on wheels and I got just engines and we have a 3.6 to take, which we were asking about 3.6. That'll be a build for Miley eventually. I said it'll be a way off project, like way later on. Um, hopefully once you're stateside, probably back in Florida, we'll get to that thing. Cause I want to be 3.6 turbo in Miley, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. But that engine has to go. My other spare US spec 12 volt beer six has to go as well. And then I have my fully redone, well, it's got messed up, but my AAA Mark III BR6 block and head. I have Steve's three liter bottom end, which might still be savable. 
I don't know, make some decisions. I have this um, 1.8 T six speed to take. I have this over here. That's a VR6, VR5 six speed as well. That's an all wheel drive one. So I didn't take that one and that one. That auto trans can go. This auto trans over there from the 360 can also go. I'm just trying to like just purge everything. Like I love all my stuff, but it's all gotta go. It's all gotta go. All right, so aside from purging everything and all that junk the goal for today i want to try and swap out the seat belts on these seats if you look right now turn that off we have a airbag light now it's not actually for the airbag i swapped the connectors on um the car side to match the seat so the airbags are plugged in that's fine the code currently is for the seat belt resistors now i don't know if european cars have this or if some do and some don't but these particular vercaros they had a seat belt sensor um, that plugs in down to the harness on the car side now these seats do not have it so currently that connector is open i have this ladder which is seat resistor for driver side and passenger side now i've been looking for a resistor to put in there um but i can't find a four inch resistor for the seat belt itself i see one for the airbags but not the seat belt and it's a four pin connector so i'm not sure exactly how to do that but what i did i grabbed the seat belts off of my seats that were in this car you can see they have this little plug i'm going to swap these seat belts with the connector onto these seats and that'll take care of that now the engine light's been on it's for the, I forget the name of the code, but it's for the cam position sensor, I wanna say. I put a new sensor on there, didn't change anything. Check the timing, it's not out by a tooth. Um, everything's in time, so I'm thinking it's the hall sensor on the cam itself, but I didn't have one of those to change it. So, I mean, the car's in time, it runs great. There's never an issue with how it's running. I put a new sensor, so it has to either be wiring somewhere or the hall sensor itself on the cam um possibly went bad but i don't have another one to swap in right now so that'll be a later on kind of thing but today's goal is to get rid of that light right there and then back in the states i guess we'll pull it apart again i want to do bigger cams in this thing anyways so i'll have to take the cams back out and then at that point i can swap the hall sensor for a new one and hopefully that solves our problem because like i said the car's in time it's not out by a tooth like i thought it might possibly be uh the sensor's new so it kind of just is what it is with that for right now but like the car runs completely fine there's no issues there so i think it's just the hall sensor on the inside so i wish i had showed you the back of the car before you left because obviously i have a couple hundred pounds of metal back there the rear of this car is squatted so bad there's like a millimeter of clearance between the fender and the tire but surprisingly enough like it's not rubbing at all i'm blown away i thought for sure i was gonna arrive at the junkyard tires smoking but they are not touching at all when i get there i'll show you the fitment back there but it's like right on the tire i don't think they can fit a credit card like a dollar bill there right now but it's not rubbing I'm highly surprised. KWs, great stuff. And stretch tires. They both help. All right, check this out. Look at how we're sitting back here. Dude, it's it's so close. Like, it's so close. It did not rub. Like, no lie. It did not rub one time. I don't know how. I do not know how. But not one time did it rub. Also, the weather today is atrocious. Look at that, right at the front. I still cannot believe how well this car drives at this height. Axles don't rub, nothing rubs anywhere. The front rubs on like a big, big bump on the Autobahn, be like 100. Um, but other than that, the car rides perfect. It's smooth, such a sick daily. It's that she's leaving, it is, but we'll see her again sometime in June, June. Look at the back of the car now. My whole hand fits in here. Before I could have fit like my fingernail. And I have all that space. There had to be at least like 300 pounds back here. If not more than that, but at the bare minimum, at least 300 pounds. I mean, <laughs> that's crazy. So I've got the Recaro out, but not like out of the car. I just tilted it sideways, but it's enough room to get to the seatbelt, which looks to be the exact same as the ones off my American seats with the harness. If you look down here, you can see all the plugs that my original seats had for the electric, for the memory, um, for the heat, all kind of stuff. This one's the airbag one that I swapped to fit to these seats because my car had the big one before. So I put the smaller one on. And then this one here is a four pin that goes to the seat belt um, itself. So that's what I was missing. We're adding it back in now. Uh, green ones for heat, which these seats do have heat and it does work, which is very cool. And then I want to say either reds from memory or brown from memory one for electric i don't know exactly but those two don't matter in this instance just the green uh the airbag and this one so the original one is now out it's just one bolt right there very easy to do you can see there's no wiring no harness it's just the seatbelt itself 
Um, I said, I don't know if it's all the American cars, maybe some European cars have it as well. But in my particular car, I need this seatbelt uh, plug-in for this. So you can see the wiring that goes up through there to the seatbelt. So this will go on just like so. And we'll be back in business. We've got the new belt installed. You can see there's a little like bracket here that clips onto this bar to hold the harness around. So that's all tucked away nice and like OEM. Then it routes under here. And then on this bracket that has the plug-in for the seat heater and also the airbag, there's a spot on the side where this clips on. So just add that on. We'll screw this back up. And this seat's all done. Interior all back together. Moment of truth, it has been showing airbag fault, but again, it's not for the actual seat airbags, it's for the seat belt buckles themselves. So now it should say probably, I think, fasten seat belt. Let's see. Ah, see, better. Fasten seat belt, and that should go off. Perfect. Let me just make sure. Great success. So obviously, engine light's still on, but I know what that's for, but no more airbag light, good to go she's back so again i don't know if any of the european cars will actually flash and say fasten seatbelt and have the actual sensor on the seatbelt buckle itself but this car did so i might have been able to do like a resistor in the plug from the harness side of the car um but i had the actual like appropriate fix for it so might as well swap them in super easy to do and now one less light on the dash look at that the sun is officially out there's a saying here in Germany that April does whatever it wants because literally two days ago it was snowing. Today it was like a hurricane and now it's just, you know, sunshine. It's fairly warm and blue sky. April is an absolute mess here, but back home now. I'm going through some stuff. I think I don't want to, but I'm start going through and making some for sale posts because I just have so much stuff. And like, if we weren't moving, it's fine. But to take all of this stuff or a good portion of it, I don't know if it's even worth doing i might i have like 15 sets of golf 3 headlights downstairs some dual chamber some single chamber i don't need that many sets maybe like two of each two dual chamber two single chamber just have a backup so it happens but like i don't need that many sets of lights i've got these right here this is 1.8 t agn engine cover the smooth one that a lot of people want i've um, got two of those that i probably won't ever use on any of my 180s because i don't mind the engine cover so I'll probably let these go i have a bunch of pacific tail lights i just have a bunch of stuff in general so if you're not already instagram down below go ahead and follow that and probably this coming up week i'll start putting things for sale a uh, little by little because i just have so much stuff uh the movers are actually here today going through all of our stuff that we had they estimated we have ten thousand pounds worth of stuff it's just so much stuff it's ridiculous so i'm gonna try to offload a bunch of things get that weight down if it's over it's we have to pay a fine or pay extra to ship it they can still do it but um we don't want to pay a bunch of money over just to ship more stuff so i'm gonna try and go through and just cleanse everything because like i just got so much stuff for really no reason like here's another set of dual chamber headlights i mean these ones are actually hella those are nice ones this one's deep i think that one's tyc tyc hella i'll probably make two good sets of dual chamber and then two sets of the single ones just to have like a spare lens if i need it or just spare headlights but i just have I mean, there's an intercooler another intercooler more headlights i mean, <sighs> when, I mean when you have the space you have a junkyard at your like disposal this is what happens but it's got a uh, sad but we gotta do a bit of a cleanse boys and girls we gotta shed some weight and then we come to this side and there's just infinite more things just it is never ending so much stuff like this is a tan leather set of mark IV Recaros that i was gonna keep and have redone these ones are kind of weird i've really shown them on the channel um but the leather is like destroyed but the foam is perfect i don't understand how it happened but the leather on the driver's seat completely destroyed but all the foam bolstering is in perfect shape so i was gonna keep them and then have them redone in the states because they never sold these seats in the states but I might just sell them for cheap and let them go, or maybe if I don't know. And I have brake rotors, and that's a VR6. That's a VR6. There's one back over there. This is the Aristos. Those are the stock Mark II wheels. I mean, there's just infinite amounts of things. Suspension over there. That's all like KC stock R32 exhaust. I saw the VR5 exhaust back there. Um, tons of knuckles down there. I got to go through and split this. This is the four motion rear end out of my VR5 but i don't need the subframe i just want the hall decks eventually i want to put that into this car eventually i want this car 3.6 turbo all-wheel drive and i'm gonna need this but i don't even know i might just let it go here and get it in the states possibly there's this there's just never ending 
It's too many things. I shouldn't be allowed to have this much space because what happens? And your wife likes parts too. You double things because now we have her car stuff and my car stuff and it just gets a bunch. And then up here, let me show you this mess. I showed before, but a bunch of stuff up here. We've got my room over here, which has, oh, there's my light, that's annoying. But all of the suspension and knuckles and stock stuff and a bunch of stuff over here. Uh, Porsche twists. I have these 19s under here. Uh, the power techs, the wheels off the variant. Uh, the long beaches. These ones are getting sold. Uh, these are Cobalt SS wheels, 18 inch. Very cool wheels, but probably sell those as well. Some Otigi MR9s or something like that. We have the Santa Monica's down there. The GTI wheels. The Arietta's are over here. I mean, there's tires stacked up. I shouldn't be allowed to have this much space, at least not a place where we're staying that's not permanent because then I have all this stuff, we gotta move it. We might toss these on the GTI, that'd be cool. We'll see about that, but I don't know. I'll to, I want to keep all of the Volkswagen wheels, like this can go, that can go, that can go, those can go, the Porsche will keep, these can go, obviously keep the Powertex as well. But I was thinking of keeping all of the OEM wheels, the Aristos, these ones, those ones, the Ariettas and the GTI wheels. But I might just keep like just this set, keep the long beaches and maybe the Arietta's possibly or all of them. This is it's too much stuff. It's too much stuff. And we got like two weeks and we got to get, get it all out of here. So stay tuned to see if we get all the junk out of here. I got some like Mark II small bumpers here. I don't know where I got those from, but I have them and yeah, it is going to be a fun, fun, fun next two weeks we got more wheels over here these are some little four by 100 evo line wheels I got like maybe three years ago never used them probably let those go these are cool though this is the alfa romeo 159 wheel 17 by seven and a half et41 the lips are not part of the wheel looks kind of cool like that but that's not part of it it's just those ones and ones inside i might keep those are cool i think they're five by 110 i want to say which is a super annoying bolt pattern but might hang on to these for something later on we'll see about that these are Votex wheels from uh, Volkswagen. On the back, it's stamped Votex, which is pretty cool. These are the white speed lines off of the GTI, which actually, one of them is bent. We had to go through, and I wanted to rebalance the wheels on that car because you had like a little vibration. Come to find out, the driver's side front wheel, super bent. So I took the other set of speed lines that had the black ones, and we tossed those in the car now. And I'm not going to lie to you. The black looks awful. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just don't like it. Because they're dirty, not like gloss black, but... It just looks weird. And we are going to lower this car back down after it ships, but I don't know. The black just looks awkward on the car. So we might put the Porsche twist on this car. We have the long beaches or just keep it on this until we get some other wheels. But we're just trying to put things on cars and ship everything and lots to do. And then this girl right here, the Joker edition 1997 Golf variant in beautiful Mystic Pearl Blue. She's getting sold. Um, just gotta do it. I will have another one at some point. I was gonna try and buy another one while we're here, but we have plenty of cars to ship and stuff to do and not a lot of time. Once I'm back states that I can stretch around a bit um, with open air imports with Nick, it's no problem for me to find one over here, but I haven't shipped over. So later on, we will have another one. Um, so this one very soon will be for sale. I cleaned the inside already. I have to go through and do some outside stuff, wash the car, pull these fenders forward a little bit. Um, the car is definitely not perfect. It's a very cool addition car, but it's not perfect. It needs some love, but I think it's a great project car and currently how it sits, it runs no problem, has AC, has heat. It's a manual already. Um, great daily driver you want to daily drive the car good little project car needs some stuff obviously like i said these got put back on too close this way so it rubbed the door a little bit you can see right there but it's not like rusted it just tipped the paint so i mean sand it down or repaint it needs a few things here and there. I think it's not perfect by no means it's not perfect you want to see the full walk around of this car there's a video um i'll link above or down below of the whole entire variant walk around but for the most part pretty good car drum brakes in the rear 256 vented in the front i said five speed 1.8 engine ac heat um auto locks manual window which is the best has the cover in the back and it's a golf 3 variant which is super cool so this one is getting sold I, mean, I will have another one i want to either tdi synchro or 2.9 synchro but i love these cars it looks so good but unfortunately this one and i shall part ways so i'd go through get this molding uh put back on Back here is probably good though. There's absolutely no rust in the hatch, which is mind blowing, but the hatch is super clean. The clear on the roof, mostly gone. But like I said, overall, the car is in great shape. It's a great project car, or if you want to just daily drive it, it's ready to go. Everything you need starts up every single time. 
and she's good so this is another thing that'll be for sale very very soon it'll probably get posted up on open air imports first uh, i think sunday i'm gonna go through wash the car get some photos of the car uh, i said if you have any questions let me know i've showed everything about the car underneath is very nice there's no rust down there the rockers are in good shape um so any questions um everything about the car is there i said it's not perfect i'll show you anything you want to see on it but unfortunately she's got to go i have some cool plans for the car i have a muffler for it and some wheels i want to put on it but just not the right time so we'll have another one later on let me actually go ahead let me start it for you i'm already talking about it i'll do probably another full video about it but see that auto locks i think opens up nicely clean the interior not looking too bad there is a rip here in the driver's seat, but they are the Sport Edition uh, Joker seats. Looks very cool. Not too bad. Headliner is sagging. So, like I said, as a project car, plenty of things to work on. As a daily, it's ready to go as is. I would drive this car probably anywhere and have no issue with it. Uh, 204,000 kilometers on uh, the clock there, which is like 100 and some odd miles. I don't know. So, you see that right there? Make sure we're not in gear. Hold on before I, before I do that every time starts up no lights on the dash no abs light everything's good to go lights work oh uh, there's no radio i do have a radio with the code for this one to put in here um i'll have to add that glove box not broken upper airbag like i said manual windows and manual mirrors the best the, the crank windows on the mark three it's just the best can't go wrong so that's good to go lights work a uh, fog light in the front you got your adjusting headlights all that kind of stuff horn works uh ac research uh defrost all that kind of good stuff inside here like i said it's a good car i really want to keep it and this would be such a great project car they do a tdi swap in it it needs some things for sure but i mean it's definitely a great base for a project i like it i want to keep it i really do but honestly though i am happy that i had it for a little while i can say i owned my own golf 3 variant and we saved this car from being crushed because the guy had a broken um, end clip on his clutch cable and wanted to junk the entire car. We fixed it, we saved it, which is cool. So they want you guys to own it and this car can go back to the States and be one of yours. I have floor mats, I think, for the rest of it, possibly. I have to double check on that. But as you can hear, car runs super smooth. Super smooth, no smoke. Then she's good. So keep an eye out very soon she shall be for sale but with that i got in today's video here hope you guys enjoyed i apologize for the lack of videos coming out but we've just been so busy packing we have so much paperwork to do to out process and there's so many appointments and it's like it's mind-blowing how many things you have to schedule and do to actually be able to move with the military from one place to the next place you have to be fully out process all the cars that need to be registered it's just it's it's so much stuff to do so if the videos are a bit slower on um, the next couple weeks i apologize but i'm trying my best to still do all of the house stuff and work and then also do this so um just bear with me but again hope you guys enjoyed today's video do not forget be thankful for every single day we'll see you guys next time peace Thank you.